If you're using your drone for any kind of photography, whether it's filming a smooth promotional video or doing any technical mapping or inspection related work, you've probably come across the drone exposure settings. After all, drone is nothing but a camera or a sensor flying in 3D space and understanding the core concept of exposure is key to collecting high quality data. So what exact exactly are these exposure settings and why is auto exposure mode such a bad idea? We'll have a look in this video. Hey everyone, I'm Varun, the founder and CEO at Hammer Missions, and in this video, we're going to look at why automatic exposure settings for your drone are a bad idea. But before that, let's try and understand what exposure settings truly are. Exposure settings of a camera, as the name implies, controls the amount of exposure to light for the camera. Generally speaking, on a dull day, you would want to have more exposure to light, that is more light entering the drone's camera, and on a bright day, you would want to have less light entering the drone's camera. Exposure settings typically include shutter speed, the speed at which the camera opens and closes its shutter, aperture, the size of the camera hole allowing the light in, ISO, your overall sensitivity of the camera to the light, white balance, the amount of color balance in the images, and these together form the exposure settings. But why do exposure settings matter? Well, as I mentioned before, exposure settings control the total amount of light entering a drone's camera. This is important for drone flights as you do not want to overexpose or underexpose your images during flight. For drone flights, what's particularly important is that the camera should maintain a constant exposure throughout the dur duration of the flight and that all the images maintain the same exposure level and can be easily analyzed during the post-processing stage. But how do we maintain a well-balanced and constant exposure? We'll explore that in the next section. So what does automatic exposure mode do? It's common for commercial off-the-shelf drones like DJI Mavic 2 Series to have an automatic exposure mode built in. The automatic exposure mode, as the name implies, finds the right balance between the different exposure modes to prevent images that are underexposed or overexposed. Sounds pretty good, right? Not quite, I'm afraid. So this mode is actually quite a bad idea and it's, it's, it's a bad idea because whilst the automatic exposure mode is great for discovering the optimal exposure parameters prior to flight, it's not so great at maintaining those parameters throughout the duration of the flight. And as we mentioned before, it's important for all images in the drone flight to have the same exposure. So what happens is, is essentially a change in ambient lighting conditions during the flight is very likely and your drone might suddenly be capturing an area that is dimly lit or has shadows all over it. So you might also experience, for example, a sudden cloud cover on a sunny day, again, drastically changing the lighting conditions as your drone flies in the environment. All of the above means that your automatic, automatic exposure settings can adjust your camera's exposure during flight, and therefore it's extremely inconsistent that the images that turn up from these scenarios. So if your goal is to collect high quality data, this is highly destructive to that process and essentially it leads to repeat flights and going back to the site which is obviously a no-no. So if you can't use automatic exposure modes, what should you do instead? Well one option is to use the automatic exposure mode on the flight day to discover the correct exposure parameters before the flight and then switching over to the manual exposure mode and applying the shutter speed, ISO, white balance properties manually. So you let the automatic exposure mode before the flight figure out the parameters and then you apply them, but you apply them in the manual mode. This will ensure that you have the correct exposure parameters throughout the flight and they do not change during the flight. Another option to use is a mode called shutter priority. This mode ensures that the shutter speed is kept constant during the flight and other parameters such as aperture or ISO are adjusted by the drone's camera to achieve a good exposure level. So how do we set these modes even if they exist? Well, exposure modes, while tricky to understand, can be a great way for you to be able to ensure high quality data collection. So you should be able to set this up in the mission planning app of your choice. Uh, for instance, Hammer Missions, the mission planning app that we make, these settings can be adjusted very simply by switching to the video view. And then Hammer gives you the flexibility to save the exposure settings for repeat use or to use the exposure settings that you have set up in the third, third party app like DJI Go. So, Essentially, uh, you can set it up in your flight app uh, or your mission planning app and then you're good to go. 
So overall in this video, we looked at how you can set up exposure settings for your drone. If you'd like to learn more about how to collect high quality data for your drone flights, uh, feel free to visit some of our other videos. Uh, everything's free for you to watch and learn. We hope you got some value out of this video. If you did, please do give us a like. If you think other people might benefit from this video, please do share it with them. Uh, we hope to see you around for our future videos. And if you want to be notified, please hit that subscribe button so that you get to know when we have new videos coming out. Thanks once so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.